Welcome back. So I thought I was going to talk about web services and the more I thought about it, really the the first part um, of my application is the splash screen. And so really I need to talk about how uh, the splash screen um, is created. So we're going to do that first. Um, the second thing, a little housekeeping stock uh, squawker uh, I can't spell it anyway never could spell it couldn't say it not a good name for an application so the application name I've changed to Ponzi P-O-N-Z-I stock and that will be the name um, of the application alright so let's go into Eclipse and to start my application I'm gonna click file new Android project. It's going to pop up this dialog and ask me for the project name. I'm going to put in Ponzi stock. And the second thing I need to do is to uh, target um, the minimum requirements um, for the SDK the, on the phone. Actually, forget SDK. The the minimum version of Android on a phone for this uh, to run. And there's not going to be uh, a whole lot of the newer functionality or newer features, the functionality that we're going to have. Um, so I'm just going to use Android uh, 2.1. The application name is Ponzi Stock. And the convention is to use a capital letter here. Um, it may be that. Uh, that you have to use a capital letter. I'm not real sure, but I always use a capital letter for the application name. The package name needs to be unique. Um, since I'm writing this application, hopefully going to put it in the marketplace at some point, um, I need to come up with a unique name. And the convention for that is to use uh, your URL. And I'm going to do com.ponzicoder.ponzistock. And by utilizing uh, your URL, um, it ensures or tries to ensure that uh, the namespace here um, is going to be unique. For the activity name, uh, our first activity is going to be Splash, uh, which gives me a, a good opportunity to go back into um, our Blackboard here and talk about you know, what is uh, an activity. Okay, activities. My first activity, as I said, is going to be my splash screen. So think of an activity as a single screen of my application. Um, and in this case, my first one is going to be splash. So for some amount of time, when I launch my application, there's going to be a, a graphic that's going to come up and then going to move to the second activity, which I'm going to call main. So after a few seconds, Splash is going to move over to main. So we have two activities. Going back into Eclipse, so I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And what's been created is a series of folders and subfolders, kind of the framework, the bare bones of an Android um, application. And for the Splash screen, we're really going to concentrate on um, just a few areas. Let's go back to the blackboard for a second, and let's talk about what's um, what's been created here. So, first, the development environment. When you uh, when you installed the development environment, you know that consisted of, of course, Eclipse. And then uh, the Java JDK, the 
and then the Android SDK SDK and uh, finally the AVD manager so these are the tools that help us build um, you know an Android app and I look at the Java JDK as kind of base Java and then the Android SDK is you know those uh, classes that that amount of Java that allows us um, to access various um, functionality and features of the phone so you know this was written to go on top of base Java and <clears throat> the AVD manager we'll talk about later but it also um, helps us you know creates things like when I click to finish it you know creates within Eclipse um, the framework uh, the base elements of the uh, of the Android application and so one of the one of the directories we're going to be looking at is this source directory because that's going to contain um, the main Java classes and let's demystify this for a second all this is is pointers to the file system so here's our project here and if you look at com ponzi coder ponzi stock we'll find splash.java so all this is is a graphical representation of the hierarchy within the file system itself that's on this machine now the we're going to be dealing with uh, splash.java we're also going to be dealing with this res folder and actually uh, two two different directories within the res folder one is this layout subdirectory which contains XML which makes me want to go back to the blackboard for a sec and essentially the Android app is gonna basically be made up of Java files and XML files and we're going to talk a lot about Java um, as well as XML but just know that XML is a way to organize information and instead of doing it I don't know in a text file or a comma delimited file um, XML gives you structure and we're going to be using an XML file for the layout um, in our in our splash the splash portion of the app so let's go back in here so right now I want to create the look and feel uh, of the splash activity and we're going to do that in an XML file so I'm just gonna right click on layout and I'm gonna create new Android XML file we're gonna call this splash and you need to put the XML at the end and just click finish so now we have uh, both the splash.java file and the splash.xml uh, file and you can see there's a graphical representation of that XML file as well as the guts of the uh, the XML file here and if you look at this uh, this is really just describing the bare bones um, of the screen and what we need to add you know we already have this linear layout kind of looks a lot like uh, you know if you're using HTML or CSS where there's tags uh, at the front and the back so 
linear layout is the entire area here. And you know what? We get an error. So I do this all the time. Um, when you're creating the XML file, uh, it needs to be lowercase. Um, and if you want to correct or rename a file uh, in Eclipse, what you need to do, there's no rename here as you can see. You need to go into refactor and then click on rename. So now I'm going to click on that and make it a lowercase s and uh, no more error. Anyway, getting back to it. Uh, so linear layout is really talking about this whole this whole area and within this whole area um, I want to have an image that's going to be our uh, our splash screen image so for that we're going to use something called an image view so I'm going to drop that in there and now I can go back into splash and let's see what happened here you know what it's saying that the resource doesn't exist. Since I renamed it, I just need to close this and reopen it. And now we'll do the same thing again. I'm going to go in and put in image view. And there's our image. And so now within the linear layout we have uh, this, this image view element and I'm going to reformat this a little bit so we can see it and I'm going to go in and say uh, that I want the image right now it's saying uh, to wrap the content and really what I want to do is to to fill parent so let's go in and type fill parent for both the width and the height. And what that'll do is that'll make our image, scale our image um, to the size of the screen. Now you'll notice there's a couple other tags here. Um, one is this Android ID and that's how we're going to refer uh, to the image view. And instead of the default image view one, I actually am going to call this uh, splash screen. No, actually I'm going to call it Ponzi logo. And right now uh, this is pointing to a directory here. Now as you'll see there's drawable, HPDI, LPDI. These all have to do with the screen resolutions um, of the phone and being able to have a bunch of different images that will not look pixelated or you know will be efficient depending upon the phone you're on um, I'm just gonna kinda ignore all those and create my own I'm gonna go in click on the res folder and just say new uh, new folder and I'm gonna call it drawable and I'm gonna put all of my uh, image elements into this uh, into this subdirectory.